Hello everyone, and this is my uh, my Sketchpad tour video. Um, this is technically my fifth sketchbook, but I'm just gonna new, I'm just gonna rename the last video and this video into like the Sketchpad tour video since this is really called a Sketchpad instead of a sketchbook. I mean, technically this is, is a sketchbook, but I'm just gonna rename it Sketchpad because you know, because saying fifth sketchbook tour video is kind of it's kind of a mouth it's like kind of a mouthful. So, saying that's kind of like a, like a tongue twister, mouthful, or something like that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna name it Sketchpad, you know, to, from now on. It's the Sketchpad tour video. And this is the part two of my Sketchpad tour video. As you see here, I left off with the I forgot what this dinosaur name was called. I, did, um, I know this was the Ethiosaur, but this dinosaur I forgot what this dinosaur is called again. I know it's a type of Triceratops, so. I forgot what his name was called again, because those names are so very long, because, you know, <laughs> that's where names are very complicated, so I've got the name. <laughs> and it's been, it's been like a while since I did like a, took a sketch, this, um, a tour video of this sketch pad, so. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick off, uh, lift off with this, with this, with this, with this drawing right here. So I'm going to also see right over here, because I didn't show last, last video as when I watched, while we watched the last video, why? <sighs> What I meant to say is when I rewatched the last video, I didn't have these drawings in there. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys these drawings. Here's a harpy lady, here's a goblin, you know, a rob a goblin burglar character, and it's a Minotaur character, that as well as well. <laughs> Minotaur character. I have so many drawings to show you guys in this video now. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. Here's Kenju the Wolf and Warrior Wolf. That Warwolf comic that I did like a long time ago. Uh, people really love a werewolf on uh, different on Newgrounds. They really love the comic there. I guess this is most, my most prominent comic on DeviantArt, so people are more familiar with that. It's been there for years, so yeah. There's like a lizard businessman or a lawyer, a lizard character. I don't know, pretty much a lizard in a suit, pretty much. I don't know why I was thinking there, so I just decided to draw a character like that. <laughs> kind of weird. And then we uh, kind of play page right here. And then we draw here. Here's a uh, Falcon Force Born to Fly. Falcon Force 2 Born to Fly. Here's a draft of it. I think I already say this in the last Sketchbook Tour videos, but I'm going to say it now again. Um, the digital the digital comics that you guys see on my um, on the comic read through videos or on DeviantArt, I originally had this as drafts in my sketchbook before I redraw it digitally on my. Uh, I was redrawing digitally on my um, my tablet right here. I was redrawing digitally because they're originally. I can show you guys now. I have right here an IBS paint and stuff. It's loading. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's still loading. <laughs> Yeah, it's got ads on there. I kind of hate ads, by the way. Let's see. I'm currently scrolling to my gallery. Oh, here it is. See? Fuck the force. This is digitally, and this is like traditionally. So I re I re um I draw it I draw it first as a draft right here in my sketchbook and I redraw it digitally on my Samsung Galaxy tablet right here. I redraw I redraw it digitally. Yep, and here's the comic right here, and it's kind of the same. <laughs> yeah. I redraw I redraw it digitally. I can post on TV and stuff. Here's Falcon Horse Born to Fly, the comic. I'm not gonna do a read through of this comic because since I already did it on YouTube, you guys can check it out. No, I'll probably link in the description. You guys can check out the read through video of this comic. He's a teddy bear lady, a cute teddy bear lady guy character. I like the draw as well. Here's the Earth Dragon. I think I did a how to draw video on this one too. I did a video on this, how to draw the Earth Dragon character. The Earth Dragon. 
I guess the Dark Dragons have rivals with the Sky Dragons because the Sky Dragons, the Sky Dragons, constantly pick on them for being fightless. <laughs> the kind of bullies like that. <laughs> luckily, the luckily the Earth Dragons usually are more intelligent. They evolved to be more intelligent than the Sky Dragons since they have to rely on their quick wits since they're ground since they're on the ground and stuff, and you mostly catch fish like crocodiles do. Here's an elf lady, a cute elf lady character that I like, like to draw as well. Oh, that's my sister's cousin now, but <laughs> yeah, I was just, just on it. This is a cute elf lady character. Here's the sky dragon I was talking about, but this time it's kind of like a horn sky dragon. So they're talking about the same type of flying dragon as well. <laughs> I like the draw as well. Here's an Amphro Plane Lady character that I also did a time lapse video on on the uh, the Amphro Plane Lady character that's gotten very popular recently. When it, it's not really as popular as uh, the Mr. Blobs flip up video, but it's still for my channel it's very popular. It's like two hundred views now. <laughs> And look at it here. <laughs> this is a this is a whole like as you say gallery of all every character I ever made, or at least before I, um at least before I made the sketchbook. It's every character I made ever, starting off with the Scarpy Discovery to a Werewolf, to the Fightless Dragon to Karate Bugs to Walking Force, and any other characters. And even uh, even like obscure characters like P the Pummeler and uh, the wrestler character and Sarah, the wrestlers and stuff. I'm gonna start off with uh, R2, R2 the robot from Scrappy Discovery, CR4, Megan, Joshua, Bell, Bell the Bounty Hunter. Here's speaking the score right here Kenju the Wolf from Werewolf, Longa Luna, Jack, Mary. There's some flightless dragon characters as well. Here's Drake, uh, Mindy. Um, but those of you who don't know, the flightless the flightless dragon was originally was was a um, was a different comic altogether. Originally, it also called Mindy. You know, I kind of I think I, I think I kind of replaced her with a uh, Dida from uh, the flightless dragon comic. <laughs> Dida. Yeah, Mindy was originally a character that was from the original the flightless dragon comic from the original one. She used to be a character there. I used to don't draw her as much as this more because, you know, Dida kind of replaced her. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I still draw Mindy a lot too, but uh, they're kind of like similar characters. Uh, well, Mindy's more like a shy girl character. Yeah, Sweetie as well. Yeah, some like Karate Bus characters as well, like Mr. Anton, Abby. Yeah, Brutus, Blade, and uh, Bree. And also some Eagle Knight character, Eagle Eagle Knight as well. That also did a cartoon pilot of. Here's some fight, some Black Horse characters like Talon and Angel, along with the uh, more villain characters like the, the Alien Queen and Jack, and the Alien character that I draw from uh, Discovery Discovery Two. Here are some two obscure characters as well, Colton, from the Colton is Kaiju comic that I did a review video as well, as well. and uh, Dustin. Who's uh I do animations on? Who's this, this MMA fighter? I do animations on. Yeah, it's almost every character I made. I've I've so many characters. I mean, this, this is the most of the characters that I have names of. There are other characters that I have that I also don't name as well. Yeah. What keeps me what what keeps me inspired is the cartoons that I watch because I kind of watch cartoons every day, especially cartoons from Cartoon Network and stuff. And they have like whole galleries of characters as well. Interesting characters. Also, um, back then, I think this was back then mostly. Cause back then I used to watch all types of cartoon channels. Like I used to watch the big three with Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and uh, Cartoon Network. And then there's these obscure channels as well, like Nicktoons Network, Boomerang, Toon Disney, who which will become Disney XD. I used to watch that as well. I used to watch all these channels while I was a kid. So that's what inspired me to become an artist. So it's a cartoon artist. <laughs> and cartoons that inspired me to draw these shows. 
And the most interesting thing about these cartoons is that Cartoon Network, both Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon used to have, like, interviews with their cartoon creators, like Stevie Hilberg and Craig McCracken. Oh, Craig McCracken, yeah, that's his name. The creator of Hop of Girls and Stephen Hilberg, the creator of SpongeBob. And he used to show, he used to show like, interviews of how they draw the characters and stuff that, that really inspired me to draw my own characters when I got older. Yeah. Uh, just want to make sure to let you guys know my inspiration. <laughs> I forgot what his dinosaur name was again. It's a type of it's a it's a type of third pod dinosaur. I don't think it's a, it's a yeah third pod dinosaur, not seropod. Seropod dinosaurs are the 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 huge ones with the the four legged huge dinosaurs. Those are seropod dinosaurs. These are the third pod dinosaurs. I don't know. There's so many dinosaurs out there. I, I usually don't keep up with all the names and stuff. I just draw them with I please. <laughs> Unless it's like some, unless it's a dinosaur that's very similar, because this dinosaur was very similar to a T Rex, but it's not actually a T Rex. So, <laughs> yeah, I forgot what his name was. Yeah. Especially when there's two dinosaurs that are very similar to each other, but it's not the same species. So, yeah. He's a cute Goblin Girl character. And Goblin Girl character had a jaw as well. She looks kind of similar to Dida, the dragon. Which I'm going to show you guys um, closely, well, closely now since the comic is about to come out. The Hottest Giant comic that I also made. Here's Moon the Cat from uh, Cat Island Adventures. Also, I've got to um, the gallery that I showed you guys earlier was it was the characters I drew before I made it, before I brought this Skipper Pad video from Amazon. Yeah, so it's having like Cat Island Adventures characters yet. This is Moon the Cat from Kyle Adventures, by the way. <laughs> Here's the Pygmy Falcon that I also did a video on. Pygmy, Pygmy Falcons, which are which just adorable. <laughs> they probably are fierce too, because they have talons as well, just like those little falcons do, where they're kind of small. <laughs> Here's uh, Lula the Vampire Bat. I like drawing her different poses and stuff. You know, anatomy. Their poses, anatomies. I mean, I guess this is a really cause anatomy because she's a cartoon character. She's not really a human character. She's mostly a cartoon character. But I still like John Gardner and poses and stuff, so yeah. Here's the monster character that I kind of don't have a name of yet, but I like this. I just like drawing him a lot. It's <laughs> a monster character. I mean, I did watch Monster Inc. I did watch the movie Monsters Inc. as a kid too, which kind of inspired me to draw this as well. The characters from Monsters Inc. and kind of like Shrek and stuff. Also, um, fantasy fantasy movies from G Works and Disney and stuff and Pixar, Monsters Inc. and uh, Shrek and stuff. Here's Shrek the Dragon again. Shrek the Dragon from the gallery that I did to fight the dragon character. And here's the Flash Dragon comic that I made. See Dido right here? Yeah, that's her. <laughs> I see my hand. We like the character right here. That I also did a digital version of this this comic as well. And since you guys since I already since I already did a review of this comic, I'm just gonna skip right through it. Like since I already did a review of it. Which also got very popular, surprisingly. <laughs> People really love that Flash Iron comic. <laughs> There's a other Sky Dragon character. I like to draw different variations of Sky Dragons as well. There's flying dragons, and like underwater dragons, and land dragons, or terrestrial ones. Yeah, this is more like a aerial dragon, likes to fly and stuff. Here's Figure the Swirl. Cute Figure the Swirl girl character. I like to draw a lot as well. Here is a Sword Knight robot character who's kind of inspired by Gundam. <laughs> I mean, I actually, uh, I didn't watch that much Gundam as a kid, but I, I didn't remember watching it on Toonami. That's usually where I get this version from. I didn't really watch it that much because I was, I, was only, I, was, I was only able to watch it with my older brothers since I was very young at the time. I think it was like time one or time two era of Toonami, which is like the early 2000s. Yeah. 
I was only able to watch these shows with my older brothers, along with some wrestling shows like like WWE, like WWE Raw and stuff. I was only able to watch them with older brothers. I would only catch glimpses of it. So I was only able to watch my older brothers and cousins. It was like Tommy and wrestling in general when I was a kid. And Gundam was one of those shows that I really found really cool. I watched it really. Here's a dinosaur kaiju character. Dinosaur kaiju. It kind of looks kind of silly. I don't know, some smiling like that. <laughs> he, should be, he should be more fierce and stuff. <laughs> you know, blow, uh, of him like blowing hot fire, <laughs> or at least uh, shoot like um, breathing fire breath and stuff, or, or atomic breath like Godzilla does. Oh, I didn't draw a page on here. <laughs> Here's the Dodge Challenger. I had to draw cars as well. My favorite muscle cars. You know, allergy cars as well. Muscle cars like the Doll Challenger. I actually colored this one because, you know, I like cars with colors and stuff. Here's Werewolf 4. I also did a, uh, I didn't do a read the video of this, of this, video, of this uh, comic yet because I was kind of discouraged by the, the fact that the, the Werewolf 3 didn't, read through didn't get that much video, views. Cause you know YouTube algorithm on YouTube doesn't like sequel content, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I personally don't think it makes any sense because you know if you if you make like a successful video, you probably will, will want to make another one that's kind of like it, right? I don't know why they changed that policy. I don't know, but it doesn't make any sense to me. So the World War Three didn't really get that much views. I will I will post World War, I, um, I will post a, a World War Three through a War War Four. Anyway, so guys, should so you guys continue on with the story and stuff? You know, this is World War Four. I also crossed it over with Falcon Force as well. You know the characters, maybe some inclusions from like Karate Bugs. Maybe this character is not Abby from Karate Bugs. <laughs> it's a robot character, and this robot character was actually inspired by Metacross from Pokemon. You know, the legs and stuff. But it stands more upright rather than being more like grounded like Metagross is. This character kind of stands more upright. But the, the expression is pretty much there from, from Metagross from Pokemon. Here's like a Wobbatinger giving you guys a thumb up, thumbs up. <laughs> Wobbatinger character from German mythology. It's probably like similar to Jackalopes from American mythology where it's like all the thing usually has fangs and like wings and stuff, which is also very cool. And there's an animal playing the character again. I know I don't mill um I usually draw female characters like in I like drawing female characters like in this pose, this hug knees pose. Just because I usually I usually find it kind of cute when uh when they hug the knees like that. <laughs> you know, the creel like the creel like a ball and stuff is kinda cute that way. I mean, I know male characters do that as well, but I, I just usually draw it with my female characters. I, I just cuter that way. <laughs> That's just me, personally. Here's a sea monster character. Um, they kind of think his head's too big to be Bulbasaur. Because I know Bulbasaurs have big heads, too. But uh, this head's just huge. Kind of a big head that way. <laughs> I mean, it could count as a Bulbasaur if I wanted to. So, I'm not sure. Here's Lou and the Vampire Bat, chilling. <laughs> She's sleeping and stuff. Here's speaking of squirrel in shorts. I like drawing her different clo clothes as well. I draw her in hoodies or hats and stuff. I might have to. I might draw that in the future. I'll draw her more accessories like hats or jewelry or earrings and stuff, or different type of shoes or heels. You know. Since it's a girl character, like she draws, she's just like girl stuff. She likes girl stuff and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying I'm saying stuff too much. Some of the word stuff too much in this video. <laughs> Here's the Grand Dragon character that I like to draw. The Grand Dragon. Kind of looks like a kaiju character as well. <laughs> kind of fierce. So this time it's actually a fierce dragon that everyone's afraid of. <laughs>
Here's Angel the Falc Angel the Falcon from uh, um, Falcon Force, who is a uh, talent's wife from Falcon Force stuff. Well, I like the jaw as well. And here is the cast from a uh, Cat Alley Adventures: Tiger, Moon, Hugo, Candy, and Duke. Cat characters <laughs> from Cat Alley Adventures and stuff. And that's all I've been drawing so far. I have 11 pages left. So I'm almost finished, completely finished as well. So I'm going to show you guys what I also drew last as well. So this is a Mongoose Boost character that I, that I drew, that I did John Vito of as well. Here's the Monster Truck drawing that I did. Here's the Fairy Giant character that I did. And that's almost it. I almost finished with the Sketchpad video. I almost completely finished with the Sketchpad video as well. Yeah. So this is called a Sketchpad video. I'm just going to rename the video to Sketchpad Part 2. My Sketchpad video. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, that's it. My vocabulary is like all, all over the place because I'm, you know, I'm, on, I'm kind of getting kind of nervous that way because I don't know what to say in the video. So if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it.